Hello, my name is Marco Arruda and in this video I'm going to show you how you can run a node from another node. It may, it may sound confusing at the beginning, but actually can be very useful when you want to automatize some tasks. For example, if you want to, to run a, a script, instead of doing it manually, you can do it from another program. So let's try it and see how it, how it works. Of course, I'm going to use the RDS, ROS Development Studio. If you don't have an account yet, you can just go through the website. You can find the link in the description of this video and create an account for free. So let's create a new project here. I'm going to call it ROS Launch Script. And the same for the description. Let's create it. It's done. Let's open the new project. Okay, here we have our workspace. Let's wait for the terminal. And it's ready. So let's start creating a package. So inside our Catkin workspace, inside the source folder, Catkin create package. I'm gonna call it my package. And it depends on RossPy and STD messages, just to have something to, to work with. Great, so our, our package is is ready. Let's take a look here in the IDE. And let's start creating a folder for our scripts. Let's do it in Python this time. So to have an example, uh, an, a working example, I will create two scripts, uh, a main script that will be launched by myself using the terminal here on the right side. And the another one will be called and we will start running from the, the, the main script. So let's create main.py and the another one, I'm gonna call it script1.py. Okay, so here we have two files and let's start with the main file. So I have an example here, I will just copy and paste and explain line by line what is happening here. So first we are working with Python, so we, we need this, this this command here, this is mandatory. Of course we need the RossPy library because we are working with Python and Ross. And this one is, is, is a new one just for this example, so we are going to work with the Ross launch library it's called, so let's import it. Okay, and here I'm defining a method called start task which is the, the method that is that is in charge to call the another script. So here we have just a log to show it's being started. The name of the package, so my package it is, and the executable you are going to call. We have to fix it, so script underscore one dot pi, which is the name of the another file we have created right here. Okay, and finally we here we, ha we have to define a node object. So you are going to use the ROS launch library, core.node, the name of the package and the name of the executable. We have just defined it here. Okay, we need also a launch object, which comes from the ROS launch library too. So ROS launch script epi, ROS launch class. And we have we have to start it just call the method to initialize the object. And finally, I'm gonna call the, this object task. You can call it script or whatever you want. And it, it goes like this. So we are going to use the launch object and call its method called also launch. And we are going to pass the object node which represents our package and the executable we are going to use. So here we have everything working together, the node object and the launch object, okay? And finally, to see if the script is running, let's print script is live. It's a method to check if it's running or not. Here at the end, we have just a Python convention to call the main function here. And in the main function, you have uh, ROSPY init node, 
just to initialize our node. I'm calling it main node, but the name of the node doesn't matter. And I'm calling the method start task to do all this stuff here. And raspy spin just to make the, the node running. Okay. Great. So let's go to another file. Don't forget to save what we have just just right here. And in the in the another script, I have also it already done. So let me copy and paste and here it is. Again, we are working with Python, so this is mandatory. Let's import Raspy library. And here we have the std messages, importing the string message. And I'm defining the main method here. So let's initialize our node. I'm calling it task1, but you can change it, called whatever you want. So let's call it script1. I'm defining a rate, so Raspy rate. 2 hertz, I think that's enough to see the messages coming. And a publisher. So let's do something, let's let's see something happening after calling this script. So Raspy Publisher, Shatter, String, and the kill size. And here we have while or not Raspy is shut down. So while everything is working as expected, we have a string called hello string. And let's generate something different here. So that's why we are using Raspy get time. And let's publish this string to see the messages coming in the terminal. Rate sleep to to wait for for the right time to publish again. And at the end we have again just the convention, the Python convention to call the main method. Okay. So now let's test it. Let's see if it's working. We are working with Python, so we don't need to compile. Let's just run our node. So ros run the name of the package, my package, and main.py, which is the, the script we are going to call. And this script are going to call the another one. So my package script one must be called from the main script. Let's see if it's working. So here we have the start task method was called. So starting, here is the log. And the script is alive. It's true, so it's alive, it's publishing something. And now let's check it. I'm gonna open another terminal here. Let me put it smaller just to, to see everything in my screen. And here we have Ross topic list. And here is the topic we are publishing, Shatter. Let's take a look in the messages. So Ross topic echo, Shatter. Ah, okay, it's very important that our system is configured to use the clock from the simulator. So we have to start the simulation here. If Even if we're not using the simulator, we have to start here and the clock will start together. So here we have this, the messages coming and that's it. So now you can, you can take advantage from this tool, this very important tool from ROS, the ROS launch library, which allow you, allows you to, to launch another script from to launch a script from another one. So you can automatize a lot of stuff in your program. Okay. So I think I I hope it can be useful for you. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel to have every day a new video about Ross. So thank you. See you.